In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up style presets for your Power BI reports. We're going to look at how it works and how it can be useful to you. We're going to look at the trick that can help you set this up. And at the end, we're going to look at some of the presets that I created for one visual to show you the power of this simple feature. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's jump in. So style presets is a feature that came out as part of the March 2025 updates. And it's a feature that lets you create a set of templates for individual visuals. This lets you set formatting settings for each of the visuals so that you simply choose the one that you want without having to manually format everything yourself. Using presets is a great shortcut, especially for beginners, because it gives them access to different styles that normally would be a bit difficult to find, especially with the format pane being a bit of a maze when it comes to formatting various settings. It's also a great way to keep your visual styles consistent because it works pretty much like a template. Any changes made to the style presets will apply those changes to any visual that use that specific style preset, saving you time from keeping everything consistent. To start using style presets, you need to make sure you've installed Power BI Desktop March 2025 version or later. And the tricky thing about the style presets is that you won't find this in the format pane settings by default. So if we select this visual card that I've created here, for example, where you would normally find it is under the visuals tab under the format pane. But as you can see, because there is nothing set up for the style presets, it won't be showing up here. And this is because you need to set up the style presets within the JSON template file itself. And by templates, what I'm talking about is this section under the view ribbon up here. And if you've never used this before, these are basically template settings that you can apply report wide that lets you customize things like colors, font sizes, styles, and more. And from here, you can either select any of these existing templates, save the current template that you've created into a JSON file, or import a current one into your report. When you save your templates, they're stored in a JSON format, which is where you need to set up your style presets. This means that you need to know a bit about JSON to set this up. So in the March 2025 version, they've shown this as an example of how you set up the style preset within the JSON theme file. And I've got to be honest here that I'm not too adept when it comes to JSON styling or how you can even customize this yourself to update the theme file in Power BI. So I've cheated a little bit by using AI. So what I did is I copied the screenshot from the March update and I've asked ChatGPT to generate me the JSON content from this image. I've copied this file now into my local machine, which we can now use to import and see how this looks like in a Power BI report. So let's go back to my report here and let's go to the view under templates, browse for themes, and then let's look for that file that I've saved. So I, it's the sample template here. And what you will see is that it's still not here. And that's because style presets, or at least the one that we got from the March update is actually for a visual called column chart. So what we'll do is we'll convert this into one of these column charts here. And we'll just add another data here just so that we can see some bars. And there we go. So as you can see on the right hand side, now we have this style presets option available to us. And as you can see, looking at the different style presets that we can choose from. It's a few preset ones available. And as we pick and choose one of them, you'll see that the formatting for these visuals change. Now let's have a look under the hood inside the JSON file itself to get a bit of understanding on how this controls the style presets within Power BI Desktop. So this is the file that we downloaded and I'm just gonna collapse everything, Control K and zero just so that we can expand and see what's going on here. So the first that we see is the schema in the name of the, the theme. And under visual styles, we can see here the first part is column charts, along with some different parts here, demo preset one, two, and three. As I expand each of these presets, you can see that it contains uh, different settings that controls what changes when you select that preset. So maybe the legend gets changed to the position of bottom center, the value axis grid line color becomes different. And presumably going to the different preset settings will have different settings that you can control. At the top here where we have the asterisk, it looks like 
it defines what is the default preset selected. This means that if you use this visual in your reports, the style presets will by default use this preset with all of its settings. And just one thing to note that all of these style presets are in a visual level. This means that you can have multiple style presets for individual visuals. Now, as I said, I'm not too adept when it comes to JSON styling, and it can certainly be cumbersome to figure out which settings are available for each individual visual and format it correctly in the right JSON format here in our template file. So to make our lives a little bit easier, we're going to use this theme generator site by point which is actually a site that I covered in my previous video. It's a free site that basically lets you customize your themes and settings using kind of easy to use UI and allows you to export them and use them in your reports. Now, while this site doesn't support style presets just yet, you can use this to basically create the combination of settings that you want to use for each of our style presets. So going back to our current report here, for example, I'm just going to choose one of these default settings. Uh, let's say accessible default under view under themes. We're going to save this current theme. We're going to go to the site and hit upload theme on the top right. We're going to choose the theme that we've created. And then under the card, we're going to choose one visual here, just as an example, we can start to use all of these settings here to customize the card to how we want. So let's expand everything. And let's just say we want to change the data label to be of a different font family. And maybe we want to make it bold. And we want to put it at a certain size. We'll change some of these settings. And uh, I guess we can just leave it like this for now. Maybe we can just change something else here. So let's add a border here. And we'll add a radius of eight pixels. We'll make the border color slightly gray like this. And now we simply download that file. And we'll call this uh, default. Let's open this file and see how this looks like. So as you can see, it generated us a theme that we can simply import and use in our Power BI reports. But what we're interested in is actually the part that we customize the card visual. So same as before, we're going to hit Control K and Control Zero. This is the shortcut to collapse everything in Visual Studio. And we're just going to expand everything. And basically what we're looking for is the setting under Visual Styles. So here we can see that we have the customization for card and the asterisk like we had previously. And here we are. So these are the two customization settings that we've modified using the theme generator. So if you just expand it further, it just shows you the different settings that we've customized. So this is actually what we want to extract from this file and put into our own theme file. So what I've done now is I've added the theme file that we've created on the left hand side and the template theme file that we got from the March update with the presets already created for us. So I'm just going to do control K and zero just so that we can expand it again. And here's where it gets a little bit confusing or tricky, but just bear with me here. What we need to do is to copy all of the settings that we have created in this, uh, in this template file that we've created. So the labels and the borders and put them in one of these preset settings. So these preset settings are based off of the settings that you can change in the column chart, but we want to change that to use the card. So I'm going to just delete that and add my own settings like this. Actually, ju just for simplicity's sake, we're going to update all of them to use this setting. And we're just going to change them slightly. So we'll change the label font to be 20 here and then 30 here. It's just so that when we choose them later, we can kind of see the difference just make this one 10. After we've done that, we need to copy just this part along with the asterisk because the asterisk also defines the which style preset is cho chosen by default. We'll copy that part 
and we'll update everything here in our uh, theme file that we have just created. So now if we unexpand this, we should be able to see all of the demo presets that we have created in this card visual. So if we've done everything right, hit save, and we go back to our visual here. Now we're gonna change this back, and in fact, we're just gonna create a new card here. And if we've done everything right, we go to our theme, browse for themes. Let's go to the theme that we have just updated. And there we go. So as you can see, because this is a card visual, we've created the style presets. Here on the right hand side, you now have the option for style presets, which lets you choose different presets that you've created. So at the moment, the only difference between these three are just the labels and their sizes. So the only limit really is you know, what kind of settings you cannot customize, but as long as you can customize them in the formatting pane, you should be able to set them as well here in your presets. So to save us some time, I've already created a style preset for the same card visual. These are some of the settings that I use regularly in my day to day. And normally I'd have to convert everything and manually format them. But using style presets, I reckon this will save me a lot of time. So the default one that I have here is a rounded version of the card visual. So it just adds a border to my card because I like kind of rounded edges for the majority of my visuals. So it's a gray rounded border. I changed the font style of the callout value as well as the uh, the category label here at the bottom. The second style that I have here is just the value only. So this is typically a setting that I use if I'm creating sort of composite visuals. So it's visuals combined with other types of visuals. So, so for example, putting a label in the middle of my donut chart, for example, I like to use a card for that. But if you just use the default card, you need to do the formatting settings like you know, removing header icons, removing background, removing the category labels. This style preset makes it a little bit faster for me to get to that setting that I need. And lastly is a dark mode version, which probably fits better in a dark theme template, but it essentially gives you the ability to use a high contrast version of a card if you need it. And that's really it for this video. So I think this feature is probably my most favorite feature in Power BI so far because it's always a challenge to create visuals that have consistent design across all of my reports that look decent without needing to format all of them individually. It's just a shame that this feature is not easily accessible to beginners, which are probably the group that will benefit the most from this feature because it saves them a lot of time and gives them access to designs that they normally would not be able to, especially because there's so many different ways that you can customize visuals that it can be difficult to find a good design. What would be great is if the style presets were available by default in Power BI Desktop using the default themes that they can customize using the UI directly in Power BI Desktop. Because at the moment they won't even find this setting at all because they'd have to know what the theme file is and how to customize the theme files, which is not very beginner friendly. Do you think the same as well? Let me know in the comment section box below. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so not to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at any of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one.